touch us Wish we had more time to spare Want you around me like air Can't get my feelings involved And then you not be there What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's Sam, you two? Now I know what y'all are thinking. Why did this bitch get on the camera looking like Frederick Douglass? <laughs> I know, my breed out didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Let me live. For sure. Girl, the goddess and I'm back. Ooh, with another one. With another one, yeah. Oh, girl. <laughs> Alright guys, so today's video, sorry, today's video is going to be about express your emotions. Like, you really need to express your emotions. Stop holding them holes in. Alright, but before we get into the video though, I need you to like, comment, subscribe, and share you hear me you are more than welcome to think that anything i say on this channel is a bunch of time foolery you are more than welcome to think that anything i say is crazy or that i'm crazy and that i needed psychiatric help you are more than welcome to disagree with anything i say on this channel because why what you think is valid in your world let me repeat that what you think is valid in your world okay this channel is all about freedom of thought think how you want to think Oh, that's sun hot. So if you think Bigfoot and Sasquatch is real, it's the channel for you. If you think fairies and mermaids exist, it's the channel for you. If you think aliens exist, this the channel for you. This channel is about freedom of thought. I'm not here to persuade you to believe what I believe. I'm just here to provoke thought and shake things up okay <laughs> I'm here to stir some shit up in your mind in that brain start some conversation okay all right now let's get into the video all right so I was thinking right <laughs> so I have been having a little bit of anxiety lately and the anxiety has been about like just pretty much my YouTube channel like things that I'm posting on on this channel right and you know just really feeling like you know the people think I'm crazy or you know is is this really what like should i really be doing this should i really be doing this or whatever and i'm not gonna lie i did not want to do this youtube channel i really didn't but something kept called kept saying you need to talk about you know that internal voice that god's god's voice that god's self keep saying kept saying this is experience needs to be shared so i'm like all right all right spirit i'ma do it i'ma do it spirit so i'm getting on here i'm making these videos and it's not that i am not confident in what i'm saying it's more so of like what people were receiving so that's what i'm you know been thinking and then you know, I'm like, maybe, maybe I should. And every time I would say, maybe I should just go ahead and quit it, right? Let me just go ahead and, you know, forget about it. I always get some form of confirmation, some sort of sign, synchronicity to tell me to keep going. That tells me to keep going. So, two young ladies have hit me up in my DM about having similar experiences with spell work being done on them and they resonated with, with what I was feeling and so me and one of the girls exchanged you know we went back and forth about like what we felt and all the, and our experiences were 
extremely similar. Like it was like we, it was like the same exact thing. And from that moment, it was like this is why the f I started YouTube. This is why I started this channel in the first place. People need to know this. Like people need to know that there's people out here that's really doing this shit, bro. And I know it sounds repetitive, but it's really being done. People are really doing this shit. And not only are people really doing this shit, people don't just do shit. People don't just do shit without really keep on doing something without getting a result. Clearly they're getting a result. Clearly they're creating businesses. They're opening up businesses and getting LLCs for it. Okay? They, they're building up clientele off of this shit. Off of doing this shit. Okay, it's voodoo priests and priests all over Instagram, all over YouTube and Instagram. In New Orleans, in the French Quarter, there is there are businesses all over the French Quarter that people don't even know that that's what it is, and that's what it is. It's a loop. People travel from all over the world to come there for that. practice that shit to learn about that shit come on now this is not no this not no game people don't just do shit without result people believe you believe in god and you believe in jesus christ because you feel like when you pray you get your results you get results it's not something you can see it's not something you can um it's not something that's tangible but it's there and at least that's how you feel it's there you feel like you feel like it's there because i know some people that don't you know they're atheists and things like that but this shit real this shit real it's real as it's real as i don't know what it's, it's real as it's real as real can get and these two young ladies also had a fear of coming out and talking about and talking about and tell their experiences because people when they did try to tell their experiences people try to make them seem like they was crazy or that's not nah, that's just you that's just you you know what i'm saying and i'm and i'm here to tell you no it's not i'm here to tell you no it's not if you are having these feelings if you are having these feelings if you resonate with anything that i'm saying on this video then on any of these videos Don't hesitate to hit me up in the Instagram and the DM to express yourself. Do not hesitate. I'm gonna put my my Instagram be in the in the description box. My TikTok, my Instagram, and my Twitter. But you could DM me. So anybody that's trying to make that wants to make me fit, make me out to be some type of lunatic. Anybody who's trying to make me out to seem like I'm just f***ed up and need psychiatric help, all you bitches, because guess what? I'm helping people, bitch. I'm helping people. I'm helping people. People, people are coming to me, telling me that they experienced exactly what I, what I experienced. Period. Now that's my thought of the day. How about that? And although I'm always talking about the dark side of voodoo, it can be used for positivity as well. It's not just, it was never meant to be negative. So if you want to practice that, do it for yourself. Heal yourself. Defend and protect yourself. Don't try to do things to other people just because you don't want them to have something or you don't want them to do something or because something in your delusional ass mind is telling you to sabotage someone else just so you can feel better about yourself. That's extremely pathetic. And not only is it pathetic, it's demonic. Control your demons. Fight them. 
Use it to help you fight them demons. How about that? And your 50-year-old ass has the audacity to accuse someone of being mentally ill when you are the one paying voodoo practitioners on the low and hiding it from everybody to orchestrate that for someone, to create that for someone. Just so you could be messy and have something to say about me because otherwise you wouldn't. You want to get people to view me a certain way because you want to hide the fact that you are a dark, evil individual on the low. And is afraid of me exposing that about you. Because I'm the only one that can see through you. It's time for you to be real with yourself and tell the truth. You are the one that's mentally ill. Alright, so. Express your emotions. It's very important to express your emotions. Because when you bottle them holes in. You're going to be harboring and carrying all that energy around. And then it could affect you down the line, you know, making you act out and react in very negative ways, okay? Um, I don't know which YouTuber said that, but I think I was watching a YouTuber and they said that in the, uh, emotions is just energy in motion. I think it was Ralph Smart, if not, if I'm not mistaken. So it's like you gotta let them emotion. You gotta feel them hold. You gotta feel it and express it and get it about it. Get it out. That's the energy. That's energy. And instead of holding it, holding on to it, you need to let it go. All right, release it now. Ways that help me to release or at least my emotions. So when I was going through spiritual warfare, when I was feel I felt like excessive anger. I felt like this surge of energy that just made me feel like I was just supposed to be mad, like just irritable. Like everything made me angry. Or I was just angry and everything irritated me, right? And it was unprovoked. I had no idea um, why I was angry. It just I just felt irritated. Just it was just a, it was a feeling that I was feeling. So and I didn't yeah I just didn't know why. So one thing I did was listen to music. So a young lady by the name of Rico Nasty. I love Rico Nasty so much. Um. I was reading an article because at first I didn't like her music but then I read an article an interview where she was saying it's okay to express anger you know she grew up being like the weird kid you know because she dressed you know she liked different things and you know she is like this punk rocker rock star scream heavy metal type of girl but she also you know was black and she also liked rap and hip-hop and you know things like that but she would dress you know she would wear spikes in her hair and she would you know just do I off you know just wear I don't, don't want to say weird shit but she would do different things with the way that she dressed with the way you know with the way that she presented herself and would seem weird to you know weird to most of her peers so of course she would get a lot of bullying a lot of um people you know just not liking her people just talking about her you know what i'm saying and so you know that developed that was you know she was provoked and that developed uh uh you know that developed her being angry you know what I'm saying? That that caused that provoked anger in her. Because it's like, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Leave me alone. Or I'm whooping your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm about to beat your ass. You know what I'm saying? Leave me alone. I'm not doing you nothing. You want to talk about me? 
and talk talk all this shit about what I'm wearing, and then you go try to go and copy. It. You know, it's just stuff like that. So, anyways, in the article, she was saying it's okay to express anger, and that them few words was like, cause I would I would hold it in. I would just feel angry. I just would I would just have an attitude, you know, and just not talk to nobody. You know, just just real. You know. I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain that. What I was, how I was, and then I started listening. I started to listen to Rico Nash. I actually started to after I read that and got her story. I started listening to her more and more and more, and it actually helped me to release anger. And she said that's her goal. So Rico Ness, if you ever see this video, you are doing what you you are doing exactly that. You are helping people express their anger and get with and get uh, um, through, you know, their anger. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, she got this song called Rage, and she's like screaming and yelling on it and stuff like that. But it still sounds, it still sounds good. And um. You know, I would just be in the car every time I would feel something ain't like feel that feel that feeling. I put that song on and I'll be in the car and I'll be screaming, <laughs> screaming with the words and stuff like that. And then look, she got one called Let It Out. Oh no, she got one called Shut the Shut the F Up, right? So in the song she's just like screaming, Shut the up, shut the up, right? <laughs> and so I'm in the car like shut the like all out the window, shut up, shut the up, right? <laughs> Don't judge me, do not judge me. But it actually helped, like, you know, you, you let that, you let it out. And then she got another song called Let It Out. And she's like, if you wanna rage, then let it out. Let it out. And then she goes, she starts screaming, ah! like she's screaming, like it's like scream, it's like that heavy metal scream rock scream stuff right but it still sound good because she still got like a little beat like a little trap beat and trap drums behind it like the 808s and things like that and i'm just like shut the f up shut the f up it really made me feel better it really helped me to release the little the feeling that i was feeling and i would feel better like immediately afterwards so and then she got like one song where she's in the, um, I think it's Key Lime OG, where she's like, keep that bitch on the leash, I keep that bitch from around me. Like, I would scream, I would yell that shit, like, keep that bitch on the leash, I keep that bitch from around me. And I would just, like, it would just make me feel so much better. Do not judge me, y'all. I know that. <laughs> I know that looks crazy and sounds crazy, but you gotta let that shit out. You gotta let it out. Um... All right, so then once I had gotten, all right, so when I started healing and, um, you know, I wasn't feeling that anxious as much, I wasn't feeling depressed as much, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't having those feelings of anger and those feelings of sadness anymore, as, or as much anymore, because I was still healing, but I still had, you know, I still had money, you know, money issues. Um, I wasn't as stable as I wanted to be so I wasn't really able to do other things I just could pay my rent I could just pay my bills and that was it right and I've even had money you know people a person that I knew stole was stealing money from me uh, somebody I've been knowing for a long time stealing money from me um, you know and um, I've had people use me for money just because they know I was generous um, you know, just all kind of things, right? And so I kind of just, I kind of put myself in a messed up position, a worse position that I was in for, because of that, because of, you know, always giving, always, you know, but anyways, 
people will still be like, she, you know, people still be like, oh, she broke. Why she still so happy? Why she still smiling? Why how she still going? How she still making it, right? So it didn't really bother me as much because, for one, I had felt I had felt at peace after a long time of being in chaotic, having chaotic energy, having a chaotic mind, and. Um, you know, just in darkness, I was finally, I was at a place where I didn't care about money. You know, I didn't care about having all these things because I had a peace of mind. I was peaceful. I was with myself and I was peaceful. I was able to, you know, just be in solitude with myself and be happy with myself and just feel, you know, just finally feeling, you know, normal. Felt like I was getting back to my normal self again. But a song that actually helped me to stay, you know, if I did, you know, start to feel like, you know, lack mindset, urges of, you know, stress because uh, I didn't have as much, you know, money as, you know, people around me and stuff like that or whatever. It's this song by B.B. Borelli and she be like, uh... Fire from Old Navy Landlord keeps on knocking I swear that nigga hates me Sleeping on a old couch I'm not complaining Cause I'm still up here though And this moon raining And I ain't ever ever been this rich ever and I don't even make all that much though. Ask my mama for a double and raise her blood pressure. Now I got me working at the corner store. But I'm balling, balling. I'm so fucking awesome. Room, room, yeah. It's that Camry roaring. My check engine like came on it. Now I gotta walk 15 miles to my apartment. Balling, balling. So she's like basically saying, like, I ain't got that much money. I'm really struggling. But guess what? I got a rich spirit. I'm rich in spirit. I'm rich internally. I'm rich in my in my emotional stability. I'm just I'm just Yeah, I'm just rich in spirit. Like, I'm happy to feel, I'm happy that I'm alive. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to, because things could be worse. You know what I'm saying? Things could be a lot worse. And after that, you know, listening to that every day, and after listening to, um, you know, different money affirmations along with that, to keep me, you know, to keep me in line in line with, you know, I will have stability, I will have stability. I got a whole lot of money coming, it had came in. I had was able to stack some money, and of course, I was able to manifest $10,000, okay? So, yeah, I'm grateful just to be emotionally stable. I'm grateful just to be spiritually healed because I went through so much darkness you know I'm also a songwriter so I would write songs about like just past um you know just getting rid of all that that built up anger and that I just ignored you know and I just wrote it down on um wrote songs down um that's actually how I came up with the acronym HO, hates on everybody. Um, it actually gave me that, gave me the idea to, to make that, to create that. I also have a song called HO, and I'm just, you know, expressing all the built up anger that I expressed from people, through people that I knew, you know, old friends, you know, things like that. 
family who messed over me and stuff like that so make you know write music listen to music and write music is the soundtrack of your life period music is the soundtrack of your life music is very important music is very spiritual and it will help you can either heal you or um hurt you it can hurt you or heal you you know so anyways music music is the is my number one way to release my emotions um I knew a girl in high school um she was a painter and she painted and it was one painting and when I went to the house to go to her house we used to chill and talk or whatever and I went to her house and she had this painting where it just looked like a bunch of like splatted paint like she just threw paint on a canvas right and she she asked me she was like how did she said how did this painting make you feel and I was like I don't know it just kind of seems like you know just a bunch of paint splatted right and she was like yeah um she was like but when I painted this when I did this I was mad I was angry she was like I, I was angry about things that was going on in my life so I just took the paint and just threw it at the canvas throwing it throwing it throwing it so it helped her to release that also helped her to release her anger you know what I'm saying and I was like wow that's so interesting i felt I, I was so intrigued by that so painting painting you can express yourself your emotions through painting you know um poetry i used to write poetry you know to express my emotions um poetry was more so when i was feeling sad or hurt and you know just really digging in and diving diving deep into myself and all the darkness that was in myself all the sadness just you know and just writing it down like just expressing myself um i also write um i also you know take photos i take photos to first like to express myself you know just capture an image of myself of you know what I feel like and then I will write the poem for it um another way I would express my emotions was to just cry sometimes you gotta cry sometimes you gotta let that out whether you mad or sad whether you angry whether you just anxious depressed any of those feelings just cry it out cry it out that also helped me release. Crying was the crying was very, very, very um, effective. Like as soon I, as soon as I cried, I felt like I had re you know I felt like a weight had been lifted, like just been lifted off of me. You know, um, um, just talking about it. You don't have to talk to nobody. And I know this sounds crazy. I know this sounds crazy, but if you do believe in the higher power of some sort or if you believe in your ancestors that your ancestors are around you and um then just talk you know just talk you don't it don't have to be like no prayer like god da 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 da, da, da. just ex just just speak your mind like i used to just speak my mind just be in the in the, my empty ass apartment just me <laughs> just me just speaking my mind um and I would always just get, uh, um, I would always just get a, a a sign or synchronicity, like through repeating numbers that, you know, whatever the higher power it means to you. To me, it was like, um, I felt like, you know, because most people are calling, well, at the time I was, you know, referring to those repeating numbers as angel numbers. So I thought it was my angel. You know, I felt like it was my confirmation from my angel that yes, we are listening. We can 
hear you. We hear you. And we are here for you. You know what I'm saying? So that's if you know that's how and whatever higher power you believe, you know, is, is listening to you. Talk to that mother. Talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Talk to him. And breathing. Breathing. Breathing helped me. Taking deep breath. Especially when I was anxious. Like So continuing to take those deep breaths would like it would just feel like again like weight stuck anything if weight had been lifted off my shoulders or something had been released from me. You know, and it would um, and I would feel calm right after. You know what I'm saying? So breathing is something that um I feel like it's very, very effective. Very, very effective. Um Breathing techniques are also things that they teach you know, for certain meditations and um, yoga and things like that. So it definitely helps. That's another thing. Yoga. When I felt heavy, I would go do some yoga. I um, had a gym membership at LE Fitness and they had a yoga class. I would go sit in that yoga class and do that yoga. And I would feel, whoo, I would feel brand new after that yoga class. Like I had, like a, like something had been lifted off of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so all of these ways are, all of these are just ways to help release and express your emotions. Express your emotions and release any negative emotions that you feel. That you feel like it's weighing you down. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, that you feel like it's weighing you down in any way shape or form okay and that's actually all i have for y'all that's all i have for y'all um yeah that's it that's it i was trying to think of some anything else that i did to help me with my emotions express myself but that's it and um i hope this helps y'all Thank you for watching it. And y'all have a good one. And remember, don't be a hoe.